we are going to talk about property success. We are going to look at some of the basic rules that will help us to be able to easily simplify sales. They are very simple. Let's look at them. The first one says, if you have the square root of A times the square root of A, is equal to the square root of A squared. And that simplifies to what A. It's very simple. At the basic level, we have been doing this over and over again. I believe you've seen something like this before. A times A is A is what? A squared. Yes. We have X by X gives us what? X squared. If you have K by K, it gives us what? K squared. The same thing applies to this one. So root A times root A should give us what? Root A squared. The square over here cancels the root sign and then it simplifies to what? A. Good. For example, assuming I have the square root of 5 times the square root of 5, this is equal to the square root of 5 squared, and then the square will cancel what? The square root, and I'm left with what? 5. Very simple as that. Let's look at the second one. Second one says if you have the square root of a squared is equal to a, and that's true. If you have the square root of a squared, the square will cancel the square root and you're left with what? A. Good. A good example is if I have the square root of 3 squared, the square will cancel the square root and I'm left with what? 3. As simple as that. Good. The third one also says if you have the square root of a times the square root of b is equal to the square root of a b. The numbers under the radical multiplies each other under the radical sign. For example, if I have the square root of 2 times the square root of 3, this is equal to the 2 multiplied by 3. 2 times what? 3. And equal to what? The square root of 6. As simple as that. Are we following? Good. The next one, the fourth one. It says if you have a times the square root of b, you have a multiplying the square root of b. Very simple. It's equal to a times b. For example, If I have 4 times the square root of 3, this is equal to 4 root 3. Alright, the next one says if I have a multiplying b root c, if I have a multiplying b root c, it's very simple. The a will multiply the b, and you are getting what? a b root c. A good example is assuming I have 5 times 2 root what? 7. 5 times 2 root 7. This one will be equal to the 5 we multiply the 2. So you are getting what? 10 root 7. As simple as that. Alright, let's go to the next one. The sixth one. The sixth one says if you have a root b times c root d, you have a root b times c root d. The only thing you have to do is that the a you multiply the c and you get what? a c. And then root b will also multiply what? root d. And if root b multiplies root d, you are getting what? A square root of what? b d. That's very simple. For example, if I have 3 root 5 times 4 root 2, this one will be equal to, you see, the 3 will multiply what? The 4. 
So if 3 multiplies 4, what are we going to do? 12. And then root 5 multiply what? Root 2. This one. Root 5 and multiply root 2. And if root 5 multiplies root 2, the only thing you have to do is that multiply the numbers under the square root sign. So 5 times 2 is what? 10. You are getting 10. Sorry, you are getting 12 root 10. Very good. Let's go to the next one. The seventh one. If you have a root b times root c, now I may see there's nothing in front of the root c, but there is one over here. There is a certain one over here. We don't know why to write it. So the a will multiply the one. If a multiplies one, a times one is what? A. And then root b will multiply what? The root c. The root b times root c will give me what? Root bc. For example, if I have 10 root 5 times root 3, the only thing you have to do is that there is a hidden one here. So the 10 will multiply the one. 10 times 1 is what? 10. And then root 5 will multiply what? Root 3. Root 5 times root 3 is what? As we said earlier, the 5 will multiply the 3. Root what? 15. As simple as that. Good. Let's look at the last one. The last one. If you have the square root of A divided by the square root of B, the square root of A over the square root of B is equal to the square root of A over B. Very simple. The A and the B, all of them takes the square root at the same time. And very simple. Let's take this as an example. Assuming I have root 5 over root 2, it's simply going to be the square root of 5 over 2. In many cases, it may, it may happen that you, you require to simplify what is another radical sign. But in this case, nothing can be done, so you leave it like that. For example, if you have something like uh, the square root of 6 over the square root of 3, it's going to be the square root of 6 over what? 3. And then what? You will go here 1, you will go here 2. So we are going to let it go. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, thanks for watching. If this is the first time you're watching my video, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell so that you receive more videos. Thank you.